Hi Taurus, thank you so much for joining me here for your August monthly reading. So we're going to go ahead and open up with the astrological transit synchronized with the astral messages so you can see what's going on with the stars in the sky as well as how I connect to a spirit to be able to anchor down predictions for events that could occur throughout this month and then we'll overlay this with the tarot. With that being said, we have on the 4th of August this new moon in Leo happening in your fourth house. This could be you establishing a new family dynamic, okay? This could be a new beginning around your living situation or role as a caregiver or nurturer you could be also changing relationship to your parents venus in the fourth you could be beautifying your home decorating it in some way maybe hosting people for a social gathering at your home as well mercury uh st stations retrograde as well in fifth house which is about you reflecting on a creative hobby mars and jupiter conjuncts on this in your second house is uh maybe investing when it comes to writing you're rediscovering your natural talent for a writing skill as well Maybe some of you are spending money on travel as well, especially if this is locally. Saturn and Neptune retrograding in your 11th house. You're looking for friendships with a realistic lens. You're no longer fantasizing about idealizing certain people in your life. And you're seeing friendships realistically, okay? Especially when it comes to people that serve you during this stage in your life and people that you may be releasing, you know, if your plans for the future feel like they're in alignment or not. With Venus in first, squaring uh, Uranus in fourth, again, you could be changing the way that you invest into your home, changing where it is that you want to live and there could be a family gathering of some kind now on the 19th you do have the Aquarius full moon in your 10th house which is a point where you no longer want to be in a certain career you know with the square to Uranus it may no longer be inspiring you or it could feel limiting in some way maybe you're focusing on suddenly changing jobs with Uranus energy there could be something that you're feeling very very uh, curious and interested in exploring elsewhere and maybe some of you again with the Jupiter and Mars T-squaring Venus and Saturn focusing on, on something creatively that you want to be able to pursue you could be forming partnerships that assist you in that manifestation and you're building a job around your own natural talents and creative talents now let's move towards your dream interpretation you guys were drunk and you were at a club and uh, you were trying to get back into alignment so the drunk aspect shows that there's a lack of responsibility in your life maybe you're wanting to kind of let go of of uh, stresses or wanting to avoid a certain responsibility you know you have to take on feeling drunk um shows that maybe some of you feel like you've lost your art for talent in the moment maybe this is like something of the past where you feel like it's something's been out of alignment with you and you've been trying to repress and, and suppress this for a while and it looks like it's coming to the surface it was late at night which shows that you're evoking a sense of mystery and uncertainty it does require you to kind of be vulnerable to be able to enter a new into a new like exciting era of your life and uh, you guys are also fixing a toilet which shows that it's time for emotional release okay or cleansing of some kind uh the clogged toilet shows that you're conquering fears of the unknown right again a lot of you this has been backed up literally and metaphorically like you've been wanting to explore new things but uh you know it's just been repressed in some ways Twitter also shows privacy that's needed to understand your own emotions so this is something that you could have been internally going through and again the blockages just indicates the letting go of emotions right that maybe no longer assist you okay uh, you're also doing a personal reading which shows your connection to the spirit realm you're cooking in the kitchen which shows that there's desires that you want to be able to take on okay this is about transformation and doing it by chance not by force so this shows spiritual development that's happening. Kitchen is the heart of the house, so you're focusing on positive outcomes ahead. There was a spider, uh, one was alive and one was dead, and one of them went through a resurrection and then it transformed into a butterfly. So the presence of a spider shows anxiety, fear, feeling trapped. It also shows that there could be complex situations or feelings that you're trying to untangle yourself with them. Uh, being a woman and seeing this shows that there's uh, people around you at the moment that you need to be conscious of and if you're a man it could indicate that there's a not so healthy female presence in your life in the month of august the dead spider that you did not kill is an indicator that you're overcoming some kind of temptation in your life right maybe this is just like a comfort zone of some kind and someone could be coming back from the dead or the past and you're realizing that it's not too late to transform right and uh, not fall back into like an old paradigm of comfortability that's not really fulfilling for you and it the fact that it turned through to a butterfly you were really shocked so it shows transformation that is happening uh, within you and it's going to help you really free yourself here this month and liberate yourself this could be a new beginning when it comes to your relationship a career um, or personal growth and there was also a bank account that you're looking for trans transactions within and you were trying to prove like 
prove that somebody paid for a service and there was authority figures boundaries and Saturn and karma there so I feel like realizing where you've kind of been held back maybe by your own self-limiting belief systems or you feel like the expectations of others have been like sitting heavy on you and I feel like you're just liberating yourself from all of that here this month which is interesting so let's go ahead and begin with your universal messages we have astral projection so I feel like you guys are realizing that a good traveler is the one that knows how to travel with the mind. You're beginning to entertain other continuums, other realities, um, other dimensions where other stories can begin to play out in your life, especially contract based i feel like with the skills of justice i feel like some of you are slowly resenting something that you have a connection to um that you no longer feel connected to if that makes sense okay and it's stopping you from really living in your truth and expressing yourself freely. I feel like you no longer feel open or receptive in ways that you once were. So with a sign, I feel like you're realizing that it's kind of bittersweet energy. Uh, at least you have the clarity on this now. And then we have a good day for that. You guys are bad day for the soul. So I feel like it's bitter medicine for the soul. Uh, sorry, bitter, uh, like poison to the soul, but like, sorry, bitter poison for the ego but like medicine to the soul okay sweet medicine to the soul so i feel like a lot of you are realizing that here and you may just choose to go mia or like ghosts from a particular reality that you no longer want to be attached to um now your universal messages is mercury and libra energy so i feel like this is contractual for a lot of you okay this could be contracts when it comes to career this is re-evaluating relationships justice and fair play mercury is about internal dialogue and maybe you guys processing this uh understanding what innermost needs your values your belief systems and what and do what what does and what doesn't align with that right to rebalance these aspects of your life with perseverance this is knowing that you can do whatever it is that you set your mind to okay you can overcome anything any changes that you feel like have to happen in this area of your life you have milk and honey which is very very positive it's very auspicious this is saying that your opportunities will be born of authenticity right so there is a reality or connection that you have to someone or something that you are slowly starting to resent and it is time to focus on almost like birthing a new self into being right so uh you've entered into a, a sweet time in your life right this is trusting that your needs will be met in this next era it's knowing that there's unlimited possibilities in the universe and you must be able to step into your authentic zone uh focusing on again like nourishing your gifts in every form so when it comes to the prosperity message this is knowing that there's only one authentic you and this is basically going to assist you when it comes to your ego resting and the soul illuminating your purpose so some of you it's your purpose guiding your career you know maybe for you feel like your natural talents are part of your purpose in some way it could be something creatively creatively that really lights you up um but there is some kind of good fortune as you begin to embrace your destiny okay there's uh choices that you're going to be making during this month that are going to help you seize your destiny in some way and i feel like you're being open to that and you're getting a sweet taste to what is to come okay now we also have possibility for union in your spiritual um shaman's dream oracle so possibility for union i feel like there could be some kind of new contract that is coming in for you here this month with heart home it definitely is helping you come back to yourself or fall back in love with your path and what it is that you're doing um so this is about knowing that you need to figure out what needs to be connected and what needs to be disconnected to be able to cross this unbreachable abyss for there's no possibility of retreat now the path behind you is no longer a viable option you have to act soon though or you'll run the risk of being stuck at the edge of the cliff this is knowing that life has brought you towards these un as yet undreamt of possibilities and you know must no longer postpone what is inevitable and you're allowed to take a few breaths before you take the leap um but this is mustering the courage to be able to take that quantum leap you guys are taking a quantum leap here this month and this is about knowing that you are willing you are able and you are ready and don't mistake your readiness for preparation this is about walking the way and knowing that the way will appear and with heart home i feel like this is really going to help you come back to yourself and emerge um as this new transformed version of yourself right transforming your life in some way now your centerpiece is a star card and the seven of cups so i feel like you guys are making plans for the future and you know emotions can be a little bit clouded during this time maybe you're still trying to navigate your way through uncertain times you're not really necessarily sure um what like what is going to bring you that emotional for like the what is going to bring you emotional fulfillment i just feel like you're very overwhelmed by the idea of the future i feel like you guys are thinking too far into the future in the month of um August there may need to be like a 
kind of removing process of things that won't bring you emotional fulfillment some of you the list towards what isn't is going to be longer than the list of what is you know there's something around like just crossing off the things that aren't for you right just marking the things that aren't and then leaving yourself with the remaining opportunities there's something around that because you may definitely feel overwhelmed as you plan for the future now uh especially because you feel like there's so many ways that something could go down in your obstacle challenge we have the eight of swords the two of swords which is basically about being in the present of your own mind because you're waiting to receive some kind of external communication or information around possibly other possibilities or opportunities the five of swords and four of cups is saying that you know that you have to cut your losses with a with a path behind you that's no longer a viable option a lot of you know that you have to be able to cut a path like like losses with a path that feels like it's no longer alignment with your values and you're beginning to reevaluate what would be better fulfilling for you okay something that you actually do see eye to eye with and i feel like a lot of you are going to be uprooting some kind of connection it could be a mutually beneficial contract that once was that no longer is and uh you could be making other type of partnerships maybe you guys are focused on uh, a new career or financial opportunity that is going to be better in alignment with your values at this point in your life queen of wands and the judgment is like saying that you're no longer gonna repress or suppress this creative vision that you do have especially when it comes to going out into the world and meeting like-minded individuals a lot of you know that you can massively engage with others in order to be able to pursue this and your soul is calling you to be able to step out towards your creative visions during the month of um august and i do feel like you're going to be attracting a lot of people towards you because you're kind of reinforcing this reaction in some way you're almost like leading by example in regards to right i'm not going to hold back off this anymore especially the changes that you want to make and your opportunity is to be able to do just that eight of cups is releasing what is no longer in alignment with you maybe you've just outgrown whatever this is maybe it aligned with you once upon a time but it no longer is that's okay you're already emotionally detached i feel like the leaving it behind is the last thing to take place and your opportunity is saying that there's other creative collaborations out there for you there's other um networking opportunities that you'll be able to actually celebrate but you just have to first make room for this your advice is the justice the queen of swords and the page of pentacles your advice is really to focus on other contracts during this month uh taurus and really weigh out the pros and cons of a new career or financial opportunity that you feel like is going to be better in alignment with you at this stage in your journey okay let's go ahead and take a look at your spirit guide message We have new, a cycle has ended, welcome the new changes coming for good. So again, the ending of something and the beginning of another. And some of you, the old may call you back and it is time to say no in regards to that, right? It's time to focus on the new things that are coming in this month. So I wish you guys the very best of luck. Hopefully this reading gave you all the clarification or insight that you needed to transition smoothly throughout the month of August. If you're not already subscribed to this channel and want to stick around for future reads, do consider subscribing. Personal reading details are also down below. But until next time, Taurus, bye.